Okay. Uh, today we will learn about power lantern nifty trading strategy. Now you all know what is power lantern nifty trading strategy. In this power lantern nifty trading strategy, we have a Excel sheet where we interview data and we understand whether we have to trade or not. You are all familiar with this uh, Excel and in this Excel, what you need to do is that you have to enter the date and few data. Uh, for example, if you have to uh, find out that Monday, today is Sunday. If you want to find out uh, Monday, there is a trade or not, then you will enter few data of last Friday because last Friday was the uh, last trading session and you will enter um, the data of uh, high and low from a 15 minute chart of the first, second and third candle. And uh, once you enter the data, you uh, will find a reply from this uh, Excel. Uh, and if it is says yes here, then you have to trade tomorrow. Now, every day after market close, you will enter the data. You will enter the data from a 15 minute Nifty future chart, the first candle high low, second candle high low, and the third can and the last candle high low. Sorry. Um, and this Excel will guide you whether you should trade tomorrow or not. So you actually find the trade one day before. Now that um, is uh, helpful because when we already know that tomorrow we have to trade and in this trading strategy, I will explain uh, how to enter uh, next day and uh, we will enter next day at 9.45. I will explain you exactly what to do. So two things is very important here. One, one day before you know that tomorrow you have to trade and tomorrow when market will open, you know exactly what time that is 9.45 in our case um, you have to trade. So this is helpful to manage your trade. Now this trading strategy is mostly uh, we are tracking for last uh, three, four years. You know that if you check our YouTube uh, the channel, then you will find that this is the probably oldest trading strategy we have discussed uh, with our students. Now, today I will uh, teach you a couple of new things uh, with this uh, trading strategy. I have done a thorough uh, testing and practice over a period of last uh, six, seven months starting this year. And um, I have made a couple of uh, changes here. Earlier, we don't had any uh, specific uh, target. But this time we have a, a specific target. I will show you exactly what target you should uh, place and what is the result. And also we will use a filter and, um, and we will also add a trailing stop loss. So now earlier it was that we have to hold till uh, 315 uh, without any target. But now we have a target. I will explain you exactly what should be the target. But before that, uh, I explain with you all the rules. Let me uh, show you briefly about the uh, result of this trading strategy for this year. Uh, so roughly around um, this strategy gives us uh, around 60 to 80 percent return of our uh, capital. And there is uh, two way we can trade, right? Uh, one way is that we uh, will not trade if the risk um, is uh, greater than 100 point. Or if we add this filter, then there is a um, separate uh, performance. But if we ignore this fact, that means whatever is the risk we trade, then this trading strategy this year has given 50 trades. And among them, total losing trade was 28 and total profitable trade was 22. Yeah. The heat ratio is not so good. Like it is a trade following trading strategy. And I find that it is still okay not having a good heat ratio when we have a risk reward ratio of 2.27 and average loss is uh, 50, which is very reasonable if you trade Nifty and 
uh, future with an uh, average risk uh, around 50 is good and average profit is 140. So among 50 trade um, with an hit ratio of 44 percent because the risk per ratio is very high, uh, it still uh, make money. Till date, it has made 55,050 based on one lot trading, which is a return of 46 percent. And if we analyze it, then it is around 79 percent. So 80 percent return is uh, still good enough for any trading strategy. I believe based on the fact that you have an extreme advantage of knowing whether you have to trade or not one day before and exactly next day entering into the uh, trade at a predefined time. I will explain you exactly what is the um, rule you will uh, follow for entry. Now, this will even become better. This will even be become better if we decide that we will not trade uh, if the risk is if the risk is lower than uh, sorry if the risk is greater than 100. If we decide that we will only trade if the risk is uh, lower than 100. That means the entry minus stop. And this difference is, uh, I will explain where you will enter and where you will uh, place the stop loss. But for the time being, just understand that if you decide that if today risk is more than 100 point, you will not trade, then this trading strategy has given 26 trade. Among them, uh, 10 trade was uh, losing trade, 16 was profitable trade. Now, in this case, hit ratio jumped to 62%. Uh, However, uh, we need to compromise with little bit uh, with risk reward ratio, which uh, from 2.27 uh, reduced to 1.46, sorry. And average risk uh, increased little bit from 50 to it's become 63, whereas average profit also uh, decreased from 114 to 92. Trading in future we can trade it in options i will uh, describe it but if we are if we trade it in future it's required 1 lakh 20 thousand in fact uh, for an intraday margin we required 1 lakh 10 thousand but uh, i taken out the 10 thousand drawdown this trading strategy has we have witnessed in april a loss of 10 thousand uh, taking into this uh, into consideration I am taking 120,000 you should invest uh, if you trade in future. And if you trade it in option, then 20, 25,000 is only requirement that I will discuss later on. In that case, where you decide that you will not trade if the risk is uh, greater than 100, then your profit is 42,115, which is a return of 35% and a analyzed return is 60 percent so uh, it is your choice if you think that no it is not okay with you um, that uh, um, having a uh, less than 50 percent uh, risk reward rate, uh, accuracy uh, so out of every 10 trade you will actually lose five trades still you will make money you will make money higher than uh, this uh, but it is your choice you can uh, either uh, trade this trading strategy as it is, or you may um, want to increase your uh, hit ratio a little bit. Uh, and uh, this is your choice. You can choose both of that. I will um, choose this because um, the risk factor, the average loss is very minimal in 50. If the, if the 50 point is the average risk for future. Um, then you can understand that in options we will hardly lose 30 to 30 point or 40 point and that's very reasonable so if we have the uh, patience to trade a trend following trading strategy uh, that despite of a good hit ratio makes good money around 80 percent return per month which is extremely good and then you can follow this trading strategy uh, so you are ignoring the risk factor Obviously, I will uh, discuss later on in this class um, how to trail the stop loss. Now, um, if you think that no, I uh, want less trade and uh, my hit ratio to improve a little bit, then you should go with 
um, this uh, where you see if you see that the uh, risk today is greater than 100 points you should avoid the trade so uh, these are the uh, uh, trades uh, based on the factor that where uh, we don't consider the risk factor then in an average five to six trade you will get a uh, per month and this is the net points uh, we get month on month basis this is net profit we have the risk ratio as i mentioned that uh, uh, average risk is 50 uh, points and average gain is 140. Um, this is based on the all trade uh, this month. I, uh, this is the trade law. Um, one can uh, ask uh, me after the class or you can ask my brother um, uh, who uh, take care of um, all uh, those things. Uh, he uh, will provide you the uh, sale. Okay. Now um, it is the time to uh, check the strategy. What you will do, um, and uh, we will uh, we will uh, discuss about exactly what you have to do. So the idea here is that, as I mentioned, that uh, one day before you have to enter the data here. Uh, you have to enter the date of um, today. So. Um, uh, data so if we when the monday trading uh, hours will close at the end during the evening um, you will enter the date of monday you will enter the data of monday from a 15 minute chart you will uh, enter the first 15 minute high and low um, the time it is mentioned 9 15 to 9 30 9 30 to 9 45 3 15 to 3 30 i will not explain exactly how this um, Excel uh, to operate. We have a lot of video in our YouTube channel. You can refer that. I will now uh, today explain uh, what you have to do if after entering the data here you get a yes. Then what you will do? That is the main focus of today's session. So suppose you enter the data of today and you get a yes. So you know that tomorrow you have a trade. Once you know. Um, once you know um, that tomorrow um, you have a, a trade, then um, what to do? That we will discuss. So obviously the date you have to enter here is um, the last trading session. So if you uh, if you check it Monday, you will enter the date of Monday. If you check on Tuesday evening, you will enter the date of Tuesday evening. So you will run. Uh, if, last if you check today you will enter the data date of the last friday because last friday was the last trading day now suppose you enter the data uh, here and it gives you a good to go signal for tomorrow it says that tomorrow uh, there is a trade then what you will do let's uh, go to the let's uh, go to the uh, whiteboard and decide what to do right so once you find a yes then you have a couple of things to do uh, first of all um, let me divide my screen in two half to explain everything so once you have yes for tomorrow Trade based on Power Lantern Jackpot Nifty Excel. Then next day. So it is the day. It is the day when um, it is the day when uh, you have um, the yes. Uh, so uh, today you find, enter the data and you get the yes from the Excel. Then what you will do next day? Next day at market open, you have to take these steps. I will explain everything step by step. What you will do is that you will open a 15 minute chart and you will wait for first two candles to close. I am saying first two candle of the 15 minute. I am not saying the 30 minute chart because in some charting software, the 30 minute chart may end at 9. 
30. They have to adjust the 30 minute chart uh, either at the first candle or the last candle because market open at 9 feet. So don't go with the 30 minute chart. Recommended chart setting is 15 minutes. You wait for first two candles to close. Once, once you have first two candles that has been closed, then what you will do is that you will identify the highest high of the first two candles and you will place a buy order. Similarly, you will identify a lowest low and you will place a sell order here. So you will place a buy stop loss limit order and you will place a sell stop loss limit order right and then you will wait for executions one of the side the trade will execute so one of the side the trade will execute so um, if the buy trade has executed and uh, then this uh, sale order which still pending will become your stop loss right and if the opposite things happen that uh, the sale trade has triggered fast then this buy stop loss will become your stop loss now what is the risk risk is the difference between uh, the two level your buy level and sell level now you have two choice um, if this risk is greater than 100 then you can decide um, that you will uh, not trade right if the risk is greater than 100 you can decide that you will not trade and not to trade you can decide this this is your choice um, i am i have already shown you um, that uh, i have already shown you that what to do um, in case uh, if you choose, um, what is the result, sorry, in case you choose, um, if the risk is greater than 100, you will not trade. You will have less trade and uh, the accuracy level increase a little bit, your profitability uh, decrease a little bit, uh, risk reward ratio also decrease. However, still it's a good proposal. However, if you ignore the risk factor and you decide that uh, okay uh, no matter what is the risk i will trade in that case in that case um what you will do so i am explaining that uh, so remember there is three choice um, one choice is that you decide that uh, if the risk uh, factor is uh, greater than 100 um, then you will not trade right One factor you have decided that if the risk is uh, if uh, risk is greater than hundred, then you will not trade. That could be your one kind of uh, decision. Another kind of decision is that um, you find that uh, no matter what is the risk, you will trade. Uh, so uh, here we will uh, uh, discuss about. Ignoring risk factor. Okay. So, what will be the result uh, if you uh, ignore the risk factor and if you uh, consider that, uh, okay, I will uh, not trade if the risk is greater than 100? I already explained you um, uh, in our dashboard, right? Now, uh, let us discuss what to do, right? Once you have uh, decided that no matter what is the risk, you will trade, how you will keep the um, average loss less than 50 points, right? Even if you decide uh, that whatever is the risk, you will trade today. Couple of facts you need to understand. First of all, um, the target, right? Target equal to 1.5% of the entry. So place a target um, of 1.5% of the entry. Whatever is the entry, whether it is buy entry or sell entry, your target will be 1.5% from the end. This is the first thing you have to do. That means once the trade has been executed, uh, you have placed a 1.5% as a target. Okay. Then um, your stop loss is 
at this point your stop loss is the opposite range that means by if the buy trade then your stop is day is low or we can say that uh, first 30 minute low and if the sell trade trigger then stop is first 30 minute high right so you have now placed the target you have now placed this stop now uh, if you see that trailing stop applicable if the risk is greater than 100 okay now uh, when you will place the um, uh, trailing stop loss when the trailing stop loss will applicable will be applicable only in the case where you see that risk today uh, is greater than 100 remember you will not place trailing stop loss if the today's risk is uh, less than 100. The trailing stop loss is applicable only uh, if you see that today's risk is uh, greater than 100. What is the risk? Risk is the difference between um, your entry price and stop loss. Uh, so whatever is entry, we have a st set stop loss uh, which we placed. And if you see that difference is greater than 100, then the trailing stop loss will applicable. Where you will place the trailing stop loss? You will place the trailing stop loss this way. For example, uh, you have waited uh, for first two candles to appear in the chart, right? You have waited for the first two candles. And say, after these first two candles, After this first two candle close, you have placed a buy order at the high of this range and a sale order uh, at the low of the range, right? And I let me uh, give you two scenario that will be helpful. Uh, so we have two scenario. In one case, we will explain um, the buy case scenario, and in another case, we will explain the sale case scenario. Now, no matter what is the color of this candle of the first uh, uh, 15 minute or what is the shape, how they uh, arrange uh, between them, that doesn't matter. We need a range of these two candles, right? So once you identify the range of the first two 15 minute candle range, you have placed a buy order and buy order at the high and you have placed a sale order at the low. Right. Suppose your trade has been executed uh, from buy side, a candle. So, suppose in this candle, this candle can be uh, anytime, anytime your trade can execute. So, once this candle trade has been executed, suppose in this candle, the trade has been executed or uh, say a sale trade has been executed after some time, right? Say suppose a sale trade has been executed and we have a sale trade here. I have, I am explaining two scenario. One is buy case scenario, one is uh, sell case scenario. Now, if you see that the difference between um, uh, these, this, because this will be your stop loss. This will be your stop loss in this case. And uh, in this case, uh, if you see the difference between these, because uh, this will be your stop loss is greater than um, 100, right? In that case, you will apply the trailing stop loss. And where you will place the trailing stop loss? You will place the trailing stop loss at the, once the, at the low of the executions bar in case of buy 
and at the high of the executions bar at the close of this bar in case of sales signal. So what is the idea here? Idea here is that the candle, which uh, you see that the trade has been executed, uh, after closing that candle, you will trail the stop loss in this case from uh, this low uh, to the um, low of the executed candle. So this should be your trailing stop loss. And this should be your trailing stop loss, right? When you will trail the stop loss, you will trail the stop loss after the candle close, right? The execution candle. Once you will trail the stop loss, then hold the trade with the target. Or if nothing happens, then exit at 350. You have no other choice. So this is the plan. One point we need to understand that here. After this is a note you should um, uh, follow. After trail the stop, if you see that the revised stop is less than 20 points, make this stop at least 20 points. So once you trail the stop loss, you see that uh, now your current stop loss is only 10 points. Don't uh, make your stop loss too tight. In that case, you will um, place the uh, stop loss at 20 point difference from the end. That's the idea. So let me uh, mm, recap everything. You have two choices. Mm, so, so let me discuss from the beginning. Now you have a Excel. I, I got a few uh, questions, I will answer that. You have Excel, that Excel you will use, this Excel you will use to find whether tomorrow you should trade or not. What you will do is that you will take a 15 minute chart of Nifty Future, and then you will enter um, today's date and today's first candle, second candle, and last candle high and low. After entering the data, if you see here a yes, then you understand that tomorrow you have a trade. Once you find that tomorrow you have a trade, then you, we have a set plan for tomorrow. Next day, you will wait for first two candle to close. That means you are checking a 15 minute chart and you are waiting for first two candle to close. Once you established first 30 minute uh, high and low, you place a buy stop loss order at the high and you place a sell stop loss order at the low. One of the trade can execute. For example, in this case, the buy side trade has been executed. In this case, sell side trade has been executed. So at 9.45, you already know what is the risk today. The risk is the difference between your two order, that is the risk. Now, if this difference is greater than 100 and you decide that you will not trade if the risk is greater than 100, then it's okay, perfectly fine. Uh, then uh, you know what is the result I have shown you. Now, if you want to ignore this fact and you want to trade no matter what is this risk today, then um, you have to first wait for executions. One, the trade has been executed. You have to place a target of 1.5% of the entry. Your stop is still uh, at the opposite range. So if the buy order has been triggered here, this is the stop loss. If the sale order is executed here, this is the stop loss. Now, if this difference is less than 100, nothing to do. Either the stop will take or the 1.5% target will take. If none of this happens, then you will exit the trade at 350. Now, if you see that the risk is greater than 100, then you have to apply the trading stop loss. How you will do that? Once the trade has been executed, the candle in which the trade executed, that candle low in case of buy will be your trailing stop loss. Similarly, 
in this candle in case of sell the candle which executed the trade the high of that will be your trailing stop loss remember the new stop loss the revised stop loss this is your revised stop loss at this point if it is too small too tight less than 20 um, then you should make it at least 20 point right this is the idea now um, we will go back to the result once again uh, to discuss a couple of points uh, what we have explained so far. So if we go to the uh, result, then you can see that sometimes uh, we have uh, made a 20 point. That is the modified stop trigger. That is the uh, day when we have modified the stop and the stop has been triggered. So you can see that a uh, few cases we have 20 point and few cases we have 60 point loss in modified stop trigger. What it mean? It means that that day after trailing, first of all that day in 17 Feb, the risk was greater than 100 and the modified stop loss was uh, applied. Once we modify the stop loss at the high of the candle which execute the trade, it was 66 point and we keep that. However, in this day on 14th of Jan, um, after modified, after trailing the stop, we find that the stop loss is too tight. Uh, it is uh, less than 20. We have to make it less than 20. So these are the uh, trades for this year. You can ask um, this tracker uh, from my brother, right? That will be helpful. Or in the uh, same WhatsApp number you receive uh, today's class information, you can ask there for this tracker. Now you have two choices. Uh, one choice is that you decide that if the risk factor is uh, mm, um, lower than 100, only then you will trade. Then obviously uh, your trade number reduced significantly. Instead of 50 trade, you have now 26 trade. Your accuracy uh, jumps a little bit. 62% uh, uh, your risk word is to become 1.46. You make 42,000, that is 35% return till that a annualized return of 60%. And uh, on the other hand, if you do not consider um, this risk factor, you trade, you take trade, no matter what is the risk, then um, this is the result. So choice is yours. Um, I will recommend that if you are a seasoned trader, have uh, understand a trend following trading strategy uh, risk word ratio can be higher accuracy level not will become very good then you can select this the choice is absolutely for you now i will uh, take a couple of uh, questions uh, show Okay, mm. so first question is that what date we will enter next day date or today date? Ankush, you have to enter, um, mm, you have to enter today's date. You have to enter uh, today's date. And Ankush also asks that um, please tell date, which date has to enter. As I said that it is today's date. Uh, Sunil has asked, is there any importance of entering date? Yes, uh, there is an importance of that because when you enter the date uh, at the background, it calculates um, the today's date. So there is one, one rule that takes last 30 days average to range. So it calculates based on that. You should enter the date. That is uh, recommended. Okay. Yes, Gopal Krishnan has asked, uh, is the data to be taken from future or spot? Uh, yes, uh, Gopal Krishnan, the data you have to take in from the future, not the spot. Um, Sivam, uh, what will be the uh, strike price? Okay, what will be the strike price? You should select a strike price, which is trading between 300 to 400 rupees. Uh, premium, it will be a weekly contract. From Wednesday, you should move into the next week contract. I repeat again, um, you should select a strike price. The premium should be between 300 to 400. Uh, you should 
uh, you should um, uh, you should uh, trade a weekly contract and uh, from Wednesday you should uh, change the contract to next month. Can you explain how to calculate 1.5 percent? Sunil, it is very easy. Suppose your NT is 16,800, you will uh, calculate 16,800 into 1.5%. Uh, you will add that with your end point. Yeah, Sivam has uh, given uh, a um, formula for that. Um, so Imran has asked, buy trade stop is equal to first 30 minute low. Explain Suman against that. So if the buy trade happens, that means your trade has been executed at the first 30 minute range high. So in that case, whatever is the first 30 minute uh, range um, low, that will be your stop loss. What if second candle is inside the first candle? Obviously, if the, um, if the uh, second candle is the inside, then your entry will be placed at the high of the first candle, a buy order, and a sell order will be placed at the low of the first candle. Durgis has asked, requires to explain which options type. I have already um, explained Durgis, the options type should be something uh, where you see that a option is trading between 300 to 400, um, and it will be a weekly contract. Do we need previous days data? date can we get that seat uh, um yes you can get this seat and uh, uh, previous date data date no you do not need to place previous date date Ankus has uh, asked target 1.5 percent of what in case of option okay now in case of option Ankus, uh you will uh first uh, decide what is the point target in future so whatever is the entry 1.5% of that entry in future will be your target. Now, 60% uh, of your uh, of that will be your options target, 60% of the future target. So calculate the target 1.5% of the entry in future chart. Suppose it is 200 points, right? And the, in that case, 120 point will be your option target. If you select the options, uh, which is trading between 300 to 400. Okay, um, I have requested that uh, lecture in print. Um, okay, in future, um, I will thought about that so that I can create a PDF um, with this um, trading strategy and can distribute to you, right? I will do that. How to use trailing stop loss? Um, the trailing stop loss, is applicable if today's risk is greater than 100 and you decide that no matter what is the uh, risk you will trade so you are in this zone right in that case only the trailing stop loss is applicable only today's risk is greater than 100 in that case wait for the candle uh, um, to execute the trade to close so and then use the candle we execute the trade, um, the low of that in case of buy trade and high of that in case of sell trade to trail the stop loss. Can you please explain about non-jackpot trade? Um, for non-jackpot trade, we have Nifty William fractal trading strategy that we trade. Um, this is not part of this class, okay? Is the strategy only for intraday or can we use for positional also? Ashok, um, now the answer of your question is that um, this strategy is only for intraday. For positional, we have smash trading strategy and we have a uh, coded strategy in the software we use called Metastock. Um, the buy sell signal appears automatically on the chart. If you are interested on those positional, you can ask. Uh, my brother uh, in the same WhatsApp number, you receive today's class information. Okay, uh, mm, I have uh, questions from uh, mm, explaining about the premium. Premium I have already explained. Um, so what about the non-jackpot trade? I have explained um, that um, you have to go for the Nifty Williams 
I am not recommending in this class. I am not promoting you to do that, but it's your choice. The trim you have talked about is applicable for Nifty Williams trading strategy that we trade. In case there is no long gap for day, some students and me personally trade both the strategy. Choice is yours. No way I am promoting to um, move into another trading strategy in this class. Don't take me otherwise. Uh, why we should not take data uh, from spot? What is the reason? Now, um, the reason here is that uh, a mistake. Uh, whenever um, uh, we uh, tested this strategy during 2013, uh, my uh, team, instead of taking the spot data, he uh, taken the uh, future data from 2005 to 2013, and um, I was not aware of that. And uh, uh, so after everything, um, when we started trading from 2013, then um, when I asked my uh, team, they said that they take the future data. And I have now no choice. Uh, we cannot uh, run the entire backtest again, so we continue with the future step. That is the only risk uh, of going forward uh, uh, using the future chart. I believe that uh, I can explain uh, what is the reason we take the future chart. Second bar, inside bar, what to do? Um, uh, if the um, I guess, uh, if the second bar is the inside bar, then um, nothing to do. You will take the, see, our goal is to take the highest high and um, lowest low, highest high and lowest low um, for past 30 minutes. So if the second bar is the inside bar, then first candle high and low will be your range, right? What about option target calculator? 60% of the future trade, uh, future. 60% of the target of the future. Suppose, uh, suppose you have um, entry at 1000. I am giving a, a, one example, right? Then 150 point uh, will be your target. If the entry level is at 1000, um, then 150 will be your target in future. Now, 60% of the 150, that comes around uh, 80 points, will be your options target. What is team calculated and when uh, to use it? Sunil, the team is, um, you should ignore it when you will trade the power lantern. Uh, the team is applicable only. Team is applicable only for Nifty Williams, a different trading strategy that uh, we use in non jackpot uh, trade. I personally trade both. Um, if today is the jackpot day, I enter the jackpot day and I also trade the Nifty William. But don't consider my word as the promotions of um, I am promoting um, any Nifty William fractal. The choice is absolutely yours. I believe that you should master one trading strategy very well. In this class is all about um, Nifty fractal, sorry, uh, the power lantern. And uh, we have a policy that uh, we do not promote from our group class any of our study strategy. If you wish, there is a website, you can um, go there and you can discuss with my brothers uh, about any strategy you wish. But in trading view first candle considered from 9 a.m. So can we consider is as a first candle? No. Anand, um, for that, you have to do a little change in the setting. First of all, uh, go to the settings and select session as extended trading sessions and also change your time frame um, from um, Indian stand, uh, standard time, that is GMT plus 5.30. Doing so, um, the candle will start from 9.30. If entry is 17,000, um, yes, Gopal Krishnan, if entry is 17,000, 1.5% of 770 um, is to 55 points. Yes, it is current. Can we get recording? I will try. Um, now, will you uh, email Excel which you saw it today? Um, no, I will not email. However, you can request it uh, from the WhatsApp number you have received today's class information and you can get one. Is any strategy for positional trade? 
Um, yes, uh, we have a smart trading strategy in positional trade. I am not, um, that is a, a very good trading strategy. If you want and that uh, you want to trade with positional trade, ask my brother in the same WhatsApp number you received today's uh, uh, informations of the strategy, informations of the class, you will explain to you about the positional trading strategy. Now, with that, I am um, at the end of today's class. Idea is that I have now given you a choice. We have improved this trading strategy. By earlier where we have to uh, hold till close, now we have a target. We have a trailing stop loss. Whatever is the result is clear to you. Now, based on that, you should go ahead. This trading strategy is the oldest trading strategy I am tracking. And you will definitely make uh, 60 to 80 percent of your capital as a return if you have a disciplined approach to trading. With that, I am concluding today's class. Thank you for joining today's class. If you have any questions, please uh, contact in to the same WhatsApp number you have received today's class information. Uh, you will be answered all the questions. Thank you so much uh, for participation. Have a nice day. Okay, um, one question is that, uh, how can we identify high and low in options? In options, we do not need to consider high and low. Um, in options, uh, what we need to do is that um, once market open, uh, you will select a call option and a put option, which is trading between 300 to 400 lakh. At 9.45, you will place a buy order at the highest price of the selected call option and also at the highest point of the selected put option. One of the trade will execute first. You will cancel the order of the uh, trade which is not executed. And then you will place the target 60% of the future target. This low will be your stop loss. Uh, Sibam has asked, are you not giving result uh, practice in Excel for Monday? For Monday. Yeah, for Monday, um, we don't have a trade. Uh, so um, um, you can continue on Monday entering the date, um, data and look for your trading for Tuesday. So uh, have a nice day. Um, I believe that uh, these sessions you have uh, understand a couple of points and um, note down all those points and go ahead, um, go ahead, um, trade it. This trading strategy will definitely make money. At least uh, 60 to 80% return you will get, and that's good enough, right? Um, and I have long history of um, experience with this trading strategy, so I confirm um, that you will make money definitely. For Monday, what data? Uh, um, okay, for, okay, couple of questions. Uh, options will be 60% of future target. Durget, yes. For Monday, what date should be in Excel? The last Friday. For Monday, the last Friday's date will be here. Can we enter Friday data for Monday? Yes, also. Um, that is the uh, idea. For Monday, you will enter the Friday's data. Is there any class today that can we use this for Bank Nifty? No, we cannot use this for Bank Nifty. Um, Please explain fill up the data with chart. You can refer our YouTube channel um, and you will find that a uh, uh, lot of um, video there. You, if you are in this class, check the email. The welcome email has a video recorded that explain how to enter the data. Um, you can. Um, is this work expiry? Yes, it can work expiry date also. 
whether we can exit before 315 or we have to wait up to 315 obviously if you have stop loss you have target if neither active then you will wait till 315 and you will uh, exit the trade okay uh, thank you so much for your participations i am closing this session today i hope that you learn something new today The recording of this video will be uploaded in our YouTube channel. You can refer a YouTube channel after some time. Um, uh, you will find this recorded video will be there.